are going to bring up our first speaker. You are gonna absolutely love her. She recently was inducted into the Speaker Hall of Fame, which means a lot, believe me. Not many people get that induction. So give it up for Christine Cashin. I'm on a campaign. I hope you'll join me. I wanna stop global whining. Who's joining? Are you joining me? Are you coming? If you're ready, say, we're ready. Ready. We're really ready. ready. Say, bring it on, mama. Woo! <laughs> yes, we want to stop global whining, and I think, right, I'm not going to stop it globally. I'm going to make sure I'm not the whiner. If there's a problem, I'm going to see what I can do to take care of it. I want to make sure I'm not raising whiners. My daughter tends to be a little bit on the whiny side. So we have this rule. You go sit on the stairs until you're happy. <laughs> it's not a timeout. She decides, I want her to know she's responsible for her own emotions. No one can make you anything, you make yourself. They can make you, but you can either choose to stay down there or lift yourself back up. She's got to be able to lift herself back up. And we need to do that too, right? I tell her, she's always whining, I say, on the stairs to your happy, she always does the same thing. I'm a happy girl. <laughs> it's like, wow, you should tell your face. Okay, so I put her on the stairs. A few minutes goes by. I peek around the corner. How's it going? She will sit there. Not yet. <laughs> she will sit there. Some, sometimes I forget she's there. And all of a sudden she comes running around the corner. Happy now. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, that's right. Give me a hug. Don't you wish you could do this with some of your coworkers? <laughs> some of your student groups, right? You, on the stairs, you're happy. <laughs> they go over the stairs, open up the door, there's like three people sitting out there already. <laughs> How long you been here? Two years. <laughs> I think what we need to realize is, is how you start your day really kind of creates your day, all right? So I'm going to give you the first tip, which is pretend you're not tired, okay? Here it is. I want you to do this. It's called the two-hour good mood commitment. Now, you don't have to act like you're in a good mood. Don't worry. You just have to say it for the first two hours of the day only. I'm not asking for much. Two hours. It's called the two-hour good mood commitment. So what you do is you wake up. You're exhausted. In fact, you ever lay down and then it's morning? Like, that was my rest. I just closed my eyes. The first thing you say when you get out of bed is, it's a good thing I'm in a good mood. <laughs> you go over to the refrigerator, you open it out, you take out the orange juice, it's empty. Oh, normally that'd make me mad. Not today, why? It's a good thing I'm in a good mood. Yeah, no, don't put it away. You've got to throw it. <laughs> you get in your car, you start driving to the office, and you're the only one who knows how to drive today. <laughs> you ever feel that way? What is this, amateur hour? <laughs> Somebody cuts you off, you're like, oh, man, normally that'd make me mad. That guy is so lucky. I'm in a good mood. You get to work, people ask you how you are. Do they really care? They're just saying hi. Right. The moment you walk by someone, hey, how you doing? You ever have someone start to tell you and you're like, oh, no. Oh. Wow. That is quite a rash. Thanks for sharing. Um, listen, I say fine, you say fine, we keep walking. Because that's, that's kind of what it is. But not the first two hours of the day. Someone asks you how you are, I'm in a great mood. Keep walking. Oh, yeah. They, people oftentimes get really curious. They start following you down the hall. What makes you so happy? <laughs> Why are you in a good mood? Are you leaving? <laughs> you got to keep a good sense of humor. And it's hard because people are irritating. <laughs> in fact, we all have pet peeves, rules for people that people should know, but they don't. Do you know what I'm talking about? Pet peeves, what are some things that people do that, that they should know but they don't? Anybody, pet peeve? Talk to you when you're on the phone. You on the phone. Don't you love, I love the administrators. They're on the phone and people walk up and they just stand there <laughs> while they're on the phone. They just stare at them. Like, what's this? Here's the thing. Most people aren't out to irritate you. They just are. 
irritating. <laughs> They're not out to annoy you. They just were raised differently. You don't know what people are going through. Most people, they don't need your criticism, your anger. They need love, prayer, and support. <laughs> People don't need your judgment, your criticism, your anger. People need love, prayer, and support. We're all just doing the best that we can, and we're mostly just clueless most of the time. Okay? It's true. I want you to bring your spark every day. You know, life is short. You spend a lot of time at work. Make it fun. Um, make sure you boogie every day. Boogie is an acronym. Oh, you're going to like this one. Oh, this is good. Boogie is an acronym for be outstanding or get involved elsewhere. Capiche? Anyone? Be outstanding or get involved elsewhere. You've got to boogie. You've got to bring it every day. There's a lot of people out there that would love the job that you're complaining about every day. And don't think that your customers don't feel what's going on. They feel it. And I'll tell you what, sometimes you don't feel like it. You're not feeling happy. You pretend. Because you fake it till you make it sometimes. I'm having a great day. <laughs> no. You work through it. You've got to boogie. You've got to bring it. There's a lot of people who retire and don't tell anybody. <laughs> they keep coming to work every day, taking up valuable real estate. You've got to rock and roll, bring it, be outstanding. So I'm going to show you the boogie dance. Yeah. Are you ready to get down? Stand up, let me show you. If you're able to, stand up, let me show you the boogie dance. It goes like this. It goes B. And then you do it. Okay. B. Outstanding. Or get involved. Elsewhere. Oh, good. Come on. Break it on down. B. Outstanding. Or get involved. Elsewhere. Come on. Bring it one more time. B. Outstanding. Or get involved. Elsewhere. Take a seat. Yes. The next time you hear someone say, that's not my job, you don't have to say a word. You just look at them and you go, I love props, and so I've got this. <laughs> yeah, I know. So when I, come, when I came in last night for the sound check, I go to the AV guys, and I said, I have some walk-on music. <laughs> if... You should have seen Rich Maddow's face. <laughs> He's like, um, I go, well, you got a boom box, right? Do you have a boom box or a... Does Dave have a Walkman? We could just plug it in, you know? And uh, it, was, it took a moment for everyone like, oh, and I said, oh, wait a minute. It's just my phone cover. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. I got this. You guys, this is awesome. You have to get this. Okay, so I don't like the phone by my face. My chipmunk cheeks always, I mute myself and I put myself on FaceTime. I'm like, oh, no, not my face, not my face. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have this problem. Does anyone have this problem? I'm, like, I'm talking to my mom's like, hello, hello. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm on mute, my face. So this is like the best thing. <laughs> I'm at the airport a couple of weeks ago and this guy is just staring and I'm staring and I realize, I'm like, what is he staring about? And then I go, oh, it's the phone. So I stopped and I said, right, hold on. Excuse me, sir, it's for you. <laughs> and, it like snapped him out. He's like, whoa, um, I, I'm like, I'm sorry, he can't talk right now. I'll take a message. You put one of these in your car. When traffic gets difficult. <laughs> it's hard to be angry with this. It is so much fun. It really is. I think we need more props, things that crack us up, because it's not easy out there. I can appreciate why everyone's so tired, but you know what? It's your life. It doesn't matter what happens to you. It's what you do about it. Take control. Don't be a whiner. Be a solution maker, provider. Help other people. So get what you want with what you've got. You've got the tools. Join me to stop global whining today. I'm Christine Cashin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you all for being here. Thank you.